on mission three. The, the speaker here, where we first also met, met the uh, spokesman, and only to find out that he's not human, like at all. Things. Terry, how often do we have to feed these things? Oh. Oh, jeez. He's hideous. Oh, I keep forgetting all you humans have two eyes. Hmm. Gross. Anyway, welcome aboard the Speaker, my personal capital ship. You've survived quite the adventure, but check out these cute nurses. Totally worth it, am I right? Steve wanted me to check something with you. He said it was super duper urgent. <laughs> so dramatic. Now, when you teleported off the planet, and I told you to set a timed fuse to destroy the teleporter before you left, you did set a timed fuse to destroy the teleporter, right? What do you mean I didn't tell you that? You must be suffering from memory loss, because I definite... Uh-oh. Hey, uh, Steve? You know that really unlikely hypothetical scenario we talked about? You know, where you said if they left the teleporter on down there that the Krumerians could possibly wander on board and start spreading chaos throughout the entire ship? Steve? Attention. Red alert. All security teams report to your stations. Red alert. Uh, let's get to the bridge. You've got a gun, right? Right. I'll stick with you. Sort of. his mouth is exactly hey over here see this map look at it don't look at me we're on this end of the ship and we need to get way over to that end of the ship I'll be right with you the whole time in spirit of course here and I'll jump into the room and find a button for the door. Let's move! Whoa! 
The containment team has at least half the training you have between all of them. was up to date on the speaker. I wonder if they'd be okay with us returning 10% of the ship? Keep going, humans. We've got to find Steve. He's on the bridge and should know what to do. After all, that's what we pay him.
things. Terry, how often do we have to feed these things? Oh. Oh, jeez. He's hideous. Oh, I keep forgetting all you humans have two eyes. Hmm. Gross. Anyway, welcome aboard the Speaker, my personal capital ship. You've survived quite the adventure, but check out these cute nurses. Totally worth it, am I right? Steve wanted me to check something with you. He said it was super duper urgent. <laughs> so dramatic. Now, when you teleported off the planet, and I told you to set a timed fuse to destroy the teleporter before you left, you did set a timed fuse to destroy the teleporter, right? What do you mean I didn't tell you that? You must be suffering from memory loss, because I definite... Uh-oh. Hey, uh, Steve? You know that really unlikely hypothetical scenario we talked about? You know, where you said if they left the teleporter on down there that the Krumerians could possibly wander on board and start spreading chaos throughout the entire ship? <laughs> Steve? Attention. Red alert. All security teams report to your stations. Red alert. Uh, let's get to the bridge. You've got a gun, right? Right. I'll stick with you. Sort of. Over here! See this map? Look at it, don't look at me. We're on this end of the ship, and we need to get way over to that end of the ship. I'll be right with you the whole time. In spirit, of course. Okay, hang out here and I'll jump into the room and find a button for the door. Move.
to Sector 2. Heavy weaponry advised. Well, that doesn't sound good. But not to worry. The containment team has at least half the training you have between all of them. Insurance was up to date on the speaker. I wonder if they'd be okay with us returning 10% of the ship? Keep going, humans. We've got to find Steve. He's on the bridge and should know what to do. After all, that's what we pay him for. Ah, Hideous. Oh, I keep forgetting all you humans have two eyes. Hmm. Gross. Anyway, welcome aboard the speaker, my personal capital ship. You've survived quite the adventure, but check out these cute, cute nurses. It's totally worth it, am I right? Steve wanted me to check something with you. He said it was super duper urgent. He's so dramatic, Nick. Now, when you teleported off the planet, and I told you to set a time to fuse to destroy the teleporter before you left, you did set a time to fuse to destroy the teleporter, right? What do you mean I didn't tell you that? You must be suffering from memory loss, because I definitely... Uh oh. Hey, uh, Steve, you know that really unlikely hypothetical scenario we talked about? You know, where you said if they left the teleporter on down there, the Krumarians could possibly wander on board and start spreading chaos throughout the entire ship? Steve, Steve. Attention, Red Alert. 
All security teams report to your stations. Red alert. Uh, let's get to the bridge. You've got a gun, right? Right. I'll stick with you. So so. Hey, over here. See this map? Look at it. Don't look at me. We're on this end of the ship, and we need to get way over to that end of the ship. I'll be right with you the whole time. In spirit, of course. Okay, hang out here and I'll jump into the room and find a button for the door. Move! The containment team has at least half the training you have between all of them. was up to date on the speaker. I wonder if they'd be okay with us returning 10% of the ship? Keep going, humans. We've got to find Steve. He's on the bridge and should know what to do. After all, that's what we think.
Hey, Steve, that weird thing is still on board. No, not the Crumarians, the other thing. Yeah. Uh-huh. The one that got into the break room refrigerator last week. Yeah, that one. Well, just try to make sure it doesn't come with us. Keep the bridge quantum sealed until we get there. with you. Just a little safer. I literally have no defensive capabilities. Oh, these claw thingies? They're, uh, vestigial. You know, mostly for pressing buttons. To be fair, I do have this deadly acid I can shoot out of my... Shut Seven, that damn system eight, off and get this door nine, open. We're eight, running out of time ten, here. 11, you may want to grab one of those oxygen tanks. There's no telling how long you'll have to hold your breath. Thank you for using our company health station. This will be deducted from your paper. November of... Steve, we've made it to the airlock. Just a quick trip across the outside of the ship and we'll be in the bridge sector. All right. Make sure you hold your air bladders closed, or whatever it is you do. I'll meet you on the other side. sure know how to fight the good fight. Steve, we're on our way. Seal everything behind us, prepare the bridge for emergency separation, and start spooling up for warp.
Well, look who's been sitting on his butt this whole time. Steve, meet the cleanup crew. Cleanup, meet the intelligence guy. Looks like we're ready for warp. Disengage the bridge from the rest of the ship. Here. Warp us anywhere but here! Steve, engage! This is literally... <laughs> Looks like we're not going anywhere after this jump. The bridge only had enough plot fuel for a single warp. Hopefully we end up within linking distance of a galactic beacon. At any rate, it'll be nice to get away from all those bugs. Say, Steve, where'd we end up warping to anyhow? Really? This is... this is the place. You had the entire universe to jump to, and this is the point at which you took us? You chose to take us to... oh, I don't know, the damn planet? When I said take us anywhere but here, I didn't mean this was an option! God damn it, Steve. Hmm, what's that giant red blob moving towards us? Steve? You know, you always do this. Oh no, let's not go into that cave. Oh no, don't play with that generator. Oh no, we're all going to be eaten by Glicknox. Uh, asteroid. <laughs> if I asteroid, didn't like your style, asteroid, I would have had you reassigned to go. <laughs> uh, uh oh! Oh no! Hold on, everyone! Steve, hold me! I called it would be an asteroid. And, and you know what I said? Steve. <laughs> He's still okay! <laughs> How did he survive the crash? <laughs> Look, Smokeman literally finished my sentences. <laughs> oh my god. Oh good, you're awake! You humans sure sleep a lot. And at the most inconvenient times. Steve and I are going to stay up here and try to get some of the salvageable oh, ship God. systems up and running. And maybe find a sandwich or something. Just go exploring down that path and watch out for bugs. They're definitely awake and know we're here. I'll radio you some instructions when we get a better lay of the land. Hey, cleanup crew, you may notice one of you sorta has a nuke strapped to their back. Yeah, we sorta glued it on. We can't risk another research sample incident. Red. I can't remember who you put that nuke on because I don't see colors the way you do. But the important bit here is that you cannot remove it. And if you get killed while carrying that thing, well, that's it. Game over, man. Got it. If the team member with the nuke dies, you're all done for. 
better treat them real nice and watch their back. Steve, witch me. That means toss me a sandwich. God, you're so uncool. So, so I got a bloody duke on my back. And if I die, it's game over. know exactly where we are now. I've got some good news and some bad news. Good news is we're alive. And Steve found some provolone in the mini fridge. Bad news. Bad news. The speaker sort of crashed into one of the largest Crumerian bone worlds after being knocked out of the sky by some kind of Crumerian defensive hive. But let's focus on the good. Mmm, that is delicious. Steve, grab me another one of those. Mmm. Outpost is just ahead. They actually filmed a movie here once. Pretty good if I'm remembering right. 
I mean, the director did get eaten halfway through production, and both of the leading actors, but the character development was really, really solid. Steve cried at the end, the big baby. <laughs> what do you mean the movie was about the humans? Jeez, Steve thinks he's a film critic now. <laughs> well, I literally, if, literally, if I was filming a movie and both of the guys... Just a reminder, don't forget to keep whomever is carrying the nuke very, very safe. We're gonna need it. This little accident has put us in a very unique position to do some real good for the company. And some real bad for the Cremarian Planetary Network. Don't, don't, don't worry, it'll, it'll make sense later. Just, just trust me on this. They got a little more range than I expected. Are you down the mountain yet? And more importantly, how's the nuke? You'll need to look for an open gate or maybe climb over the wall somehow. Humans can definitely climb. I've seen those little weird bone nubs you have. Just remember, we don't have all day. And there's only like three sandwiches left up here. And there's no way I'm eating that one with all the ketchup. <laughs> of course you would, Steve. A little disgusting.
Oh, those poor settlers. <laughs> no, seriously, they were super poor. Well, until the touring industry kicked off. And then the Crumerians showed up. Yeesh, not a good way to go. Keep looking for that communications array. If it's not broken, it should just turn right on when you hit a big button. And, uh, Steve says don't go licking anything. I know you humans like to do that. <laughs> Excellent. We're already getting a mild signal from that array. Steve's going to remotely angle it from here. Hang tight while we get in touch with the big guy upstairs, if you know what I mean. And don't forget about that nuke. Defend it with your lives. Champ, it's just about time to use that thing. We've called in rescue from the top dog himself. This is a big day for you guys. A very important mission. The CEO's on his way to digest this whole thing personally, but we need to clear the airspace first. Or rather, higher than that, we need to clear the space space. Don't worry, I've got your back. Not sure about Steve, though. He's kind of self-centered.
else? No? Okay. There she is. Gorgeous, huh? Sure, she shot us down, but it really is a work of art, you know? I know your tiny human brains can't conceptualize concepts like beauty, but, uh... Bah. Kinda glad we didn't waste these sandwiches on them, eh, Steve? <laughs> That's why you're my number one. You still appreciate a good love. Oh. Not the first I've ever shot a barrel. thing grew on top of that former mining complex. So here's the plan. You're going to walk right down into the hive. That'll be the easy part. And then we're gonna nuke her from the inside out. Then you have to, you know, run back out. Really, really fast. Hopefully you took track. And cross country. You're gonna need both of those skills. Keep that nuke safe. Pretty deep in there, huh? Steve, <laughs> shut up. Look for a good place to put that nuke, and then run like hell. I hope you've been keeping up on your company mandated cardio.
likes. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.